Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we have fun and eat good Italian food. Today I want to teach you how to pronounce 10 Italian American, Italian Australians, Italian uh, celebrities' names, okay, that you pronounce wrong, okay? Jacqueline. Do you mean Jacqueline? Okay, so that's how it's going to be. I want to start from a name that every single person I know make a mistake, including me. Daniel Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo is born in Australia. His family is originated from um, Italy, so his surname is Italian. So Daniel Ricardo, Ricardo it's spelled R I C C double C I, so Rich A R D O. So it's called Ricciardo, not Ricardo. Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo. You want to say in a different way? Ri, ri, Ricciardo. Ricciardo. But Ricardo? Ricardo is R I C C A R D O. Ricardo. Richard. You don't call Richard Rene. You don't call Richard Raymond. This is Ricciardo. Okay? This is very sad what I just read here. If you go on Wikipedia, you can see. That what he says here, Ricciardo pronounces his name Riccardo. So he actually chose to be called Riccardo. Instead of the Italian pronunciation, Ricciardo. And this is because the way they usually pronounce growing up in Australia. This is sad. Italians have been around the world traveling, you know, in Australia since the uh, 1800s. Long time. It hasn't been yesterday. It's been a long time. And I find this a little bit disrespectful because you're not really respecting someone's surname. It's like if I say Smith and I say Smati, Smati, is it Smith? This is Ricciardo and that's how you call it. So I don't understand why you need to change. Like I used to work in retail and I always used to put, put an effort to pronounce people's surname. And if I didn't know how to say it, I will ask, did I say it right? I believe it's, it's respectful because your surname is what represents you and your family. So for this guy to say, I changed my surname to Ricardo, it must have been very bad for him growing up. And I, I think we need to change this. This guy represents Australia around the world. His Italian background show some respect. Show some respect to his family, to his grandparents who are not maybe around anymore. Show some respect, please. The other name is Sylvester Stallone, 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 it's not French, Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, known as Rocky. Sylvester Stallone started as Rocky Balboa, he is the Italian stallion, so pronounce it correctly. Sylvester Stallone. The next one is another Australian Italian actor, Anthony La Paglia, you say. He did so many movies in America, in Canada, in Australia, but more overseas. He's very famous overseas. This guy represents Australia. Okay? His son is on TV in Australia and they pronounce the name La Paglia. I'm so sorry. But this guy represents your country and you learn how to say his name. Anthony La Paglia. You work hard. Paglia. You can't say it? Try Pagli, La Paglia. Papa Paglia? No. It's like saying Gnocchi. It's Gnocchi. You cannot change the name of someone who represents your country. Another name is Versace. Welcome to the stage, Donatello Versace. Versace, one of the most famous, iconic fashion brands. Versace, Versace. We have Donatella Versace. It's not Donatella Versace. Versace. If the end was I, then it's Versace. But because it ends with E, it's Versace. Please learn this because it makes you feel more educated. Yeah. The next one is an important name, Leonardo da Vinci, a legend, someone that really is representing 
internet all over the world for someone that is really is a, a, a very important character for Italian culture, Leonardo da Vinci. How is it pronounced around the world? I don't know. I've heard so many different ways. Leonardo da Vinci. I think people know to say Leonardo because of Leonardo DiCaprio, but Da Vinci, that's not hard. They've done a movie as well about Da Vinci, so I don't say Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, okay? Try out, Leonardo Da Vinci. And from Leonardo, we go to another Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, oh. Here I come, oh, here I come. DiCaprio, DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio, he has Italian backgrounds, he's also German, but he's got Italian in his blood. Say it, il Leonardo di Caprio. It's beautiful to say it, it's fun to do it. Di Caprio. Do this with your hands, it helps. Di Caprio. He did so many movies. He, you know, he's American. Be proud of him and be proud of his, his background. Di Caprio. The next one is uh, an artist, a director. A person I really love, one of the greatest directors of all time, Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese, Scorsese, Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Show some respect to one of the greatest directors in, in history. He's in America, pronounce it correctly. Martin Scorsese. No Scorsese, Scorsese, Scorsese. Respect this man, he is so respected all over the world. Martin Scorsese. From Martin Scorsese, we have to go to one of his favorite actors, Joe Pesh. Joe Pesh. Joe Push. Uh, whatever you want to say. Charlie M, ah. you make me pop your eye out of your head to protect that piece of shit. It's Joe Pesh. Joe Pesh. A great character. Everybody remembers him from the scene, uh, The Goodfellas. I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? He makes people laugh. He makes people scared. And if you don't pronounce his name correctly, he's gonna come and see you. Oh, funny. What do you mean funny? Joe Pesci. Pesci. It's a fish, more than one. Pesci. This one is a name that People don't talk about, uh, but there was a great movie, Raging Bull, with um, uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. It's about a boxer, Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano sounds more Mexican or South American. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano is one of the greatest boxers America ever had. His background was from Italy. Rocky Marciano. So do not say Marciano. Marciano in Italian is an alien. <laughs> Maybe he was an alien because he was strong, but Marciano, yeah? Marciano, Rocky Marciano. Last but not least, we close with the beauty. A beautiful actress that everybody loves. We all do, right? Marisa Tommy. Marisa Tomai. Marisa Tomei. <laughs> Whatever you say. It's Marisa Tomei. I don't believe many people make the mistake. I have heard lots of good ways of saying a name, but make sure you pronounce her name right. Marisa Tomei. Sounds so beautiful, just like her. Marisa Tomei. Tomei. <laughs> Tomei. I hope you guys have learned something new today. Um, I'm still learning how to say Smith. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> I'm still learning, so I'm not the right person to probably do this, but can I say one thing? We can all learn from each other, okay? I used to work in retail, like I said before, and I used to have some difficult surnames, okay? I don't want to say about backgrounds, what, 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 what nationalities, but there were some difficult ones for me. And I tried so hard, and I managed to, 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 to pronounce them, and they really appreciated. I can see in their eyes, the clients used to love when I made an effort. And if you work in a magazine or on TV, you're a journalist, and you say, Daniel Ricardo, you don't love your job. You don't love what you do. You don't respect the people. You don't respect this guy that is bringing Australia around the world. A little bit of respect. Because when Casey Stoner was in Ducati, and he made Ducati win, we respected him so much. Still now, 
Casey Stoner. They don't know that that's his name in Italy. It's Casey Stoner. They don't say Casa e Stoner or Casey Stonere or Casey Stonare. It's Casey Stoner. So a little bit of respect for people, please. That's all we need in life. More respect, less war, less sadness. Yeah? Respect can really change the way we live. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Different, no food involved, names. If you like it, write a comment below. Let me know if you want more and I can record more for you, only for you. And I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate reaction video.